Good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tahita. I am a compliance analyst. I am also a content creator here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Um, and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Um, yeah. Y'all, there's this like, I love having like a nice puff, but I don't ever take the time to like puff out my hair. So to me, it'd be looking crazy. It'd be looking like I just have these random strands. Anyway, ADHD much. Um, yeah, it's Monday, y'all. It's another week. I plan on having an amazing and wonderful and productive week. I hope you guys are planning on doing the same. Um, what's my password? But yeah, so it's actually around 10 o'clock. I started earlier. Y'all should know by now that I usually start I usually start um, around 7, 15, 7.30, depending on how I feel. Sometimes I will have to log in earlier because a lot of my clients are on the East Coast. So if they ever request like a call first thing in the morning, I'll jump on at like 7. Um, but yeah, so I've already logged in. I've checked my emails. I have one email that I'm sitting on. Y'all know, y'all know like, y'all, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person here. But y'all ever have like, those emails that you know it's 50-50 it, they could either be closing out an issue or providing you with information you just don't want to hear that's that's this email it could go either way they could be like you know what close this out or they could give me another excuse as to why they can't do what I want to do and I just don't feel like having that type of energy early in the morning on a Monday so I'm sitting on it for a bit it is in my queue. I did write up my to-do list. Um, I have one particular, I have one particular case that I submitted on Friday. I expected it to be good to close out on Monday today. Oh, okay. It actually it worked a, a lot better. Okay, because this is my third time submitting this. I'm like, if this don't go through, I'm gonna have to open an IT ticket. But it looks like it did come through. It just had one um, one of my items weren't found, so it couldn't produce a result for that. All right. All right. Off to a good start. Just wanted to check in. Um, I think I should also explain my coffee. Um, for those of you who do not know, I am... I mentioned this in the previous vlog. I am trying to get back into a keto-like lifestyle. Um... In 2018, so from September 2018 to April of 2019, I did keto-esque dieting. <laughs> um, dirty keto, basically, because I did eliminate majority of my carbs. Um, and I did, you know, I won't say I, amp I amped up the fat, but I wasn't too concerned with the amount of fat. I wasn't trying to do lean. Um, so it was keto-esque, but... I lost 40 pounds, y'all. I lost 40 pounds between September of 2018 to April of 2019. That's what, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. So within seven months, I lost 40 pounds. Um, and I was feeling good, okay? But then life happened <laughs> and I gained all that back. So we're trying to get, we're trying to go down. I didn't, I mean, I've been fluctuating since then, but I've, I haven't gone back to that. Okay. So right now I think I, my goal is 25 to 30 pounds. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's why I did whipped cream with my coffee and
Hey guys, just checking in. I'm about to hit my girl up to see if she is gonna walk today because like I said, I can't afford to slack. So just calling her really quickly. Y'all, I did my nails, but they suck. So I'm not even gonna show y'all just, they're so crooked. They're so crooked. They're super crooked, but we're just, we're just gonna work with it, okay? She must be asleep. So she is on the West Coast and she works a later schedule. So she typically gets up around the time, like she gets up around nine her time, which is around 11 my time. Um, and then we go for a walk during my lunch, um, you know, and then it's like first thing in the morning for her. Um, but sometimes she'd be just knocked out. <laughs> so I usually, oh, she's calling back. Oh shit, she called back. My um, phone must be on silent, yeah. Hello? Uh-huh, you oh, up. You sound like it, you up. All right, so let me go. I need to take my earrings off, tie my hair up. Well, not tie it up, but put it in a bun. Then I'm going to switch out my shirt, grab some leggings, well, grab some sweats, grab my hoodie, and then we're going to leave because I threw these on just so I could be in gym clothes, but I can't go outside with all my calves showing. It's too cold for all that, yeah. Hey guys, so I'm back from my walk. Um, glad I went. I actually, it was, I know on the call I told my girl it was 50 something degrees, it was 40. It's definitely 40 degrees outside. Um, and I was cold because I just went in a hoodie and I should have probably had long sleeves on instead of the short sleeves that I had on. Um, but I am back now, I am logged into work and I'm about to have my salad so i'm about to have a working lunch um i think this was on its end but we gonna make it do what it do because i love this salad. i love a good salad with a portion of fruit in it so bon appetit hey guys so that salad was definitely on its way out <laughs> and so it wasn't as enjoyable as i would have liked it but i am currently going through some of my cases um yeah I'm just closing out this one I just got this is a quicker one to just QA and close so um Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's all I'm really doing. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Hi, so I just got off of a long phone call with my aunt. I miss her so, 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 so much. Um, my Aunt Georgia is probably, like, one of my bestest friends in the whole wide world. Um, and she just, she always had my back, like, forever like and ever and ever and ever like she's always had my back doesn't judge me always there encouraging me to be me i got a call so i'm gonna take this hello hold on one second my, i don't know why my volume was really low Ooh. here we go all right What's um, up? <clears throat> just real quick i don't think so no i'm not gonna be out until actually Tuesday the 1st. I told myself I wasn't gonna do any more PTO work. I told myself I wasn't gonna do any, any more PTO work. It's literally, I haven't had a week where I wasn't backing someone up. Literally, I haven't had a week in a month. In the past month, well, if we're including this week, it's not been a week since I haven't backed someone up where I've just focused on my duties 
I would say that's a problem for me. I need to I need to I need to sort this out in my head, right? Because it's like I'm not underwater, but I shouldn't wait until I'm underwater to be overwhelmed or to like start setting the boundaries. Um, luckily it's only for two days, but the last couple days, like the last couple PTO, it's been like a week, um, three plus days. So, <clears throat> you know, luckily it's towards a, the end of the week, which is a Friday and it's on that Monday. And I'm hoping that if it's anything crazy, they could just speak with the person within 24 hours the following day. So yeah, that's that. Yeah, but I was telling you guys about my aunt and how amazing she is. And I just had a really long conversation with her. Um, I'm actually sending her a surprise. And I think she'll be very, very happy with it. But I love her so much. She is one of my bestest friends. She's like a second mom. Um, truly supportive. Truly has my back. Will cuss somebody out. You know, back in the day when she was about that life. I'm pretty sure she would beat somebody's ass over me <laughs> like she don't play so um I love her always always had my back from the day I was born to where I am now in life she that's my girl so yeah that's it that's my little homage to my aunt Georgia I love you you probably don't even know I have a channel <laughs> but if you ever find out at least you got a little shout out in this one so yeah So I will start on the right side of the slide, which is um, our case count. So. Hey guys, I feel like I look weird. It's because my hair is uptight, but not really. Um, but yeah, so, okay, three different things I wanna mention. First call out, I'm going back, and, well not back and forth, I'm pinging, or somebody pinged me on Teams, and so if y'all hear my alarm or my alert go off in the background, that's why. Um, second thing, I am very irritated right now because I have a package that is scheduled to be sent to my old employer and I haven't worked there in three years. Um, apparently that was the main address I had on my Sephora account and though I changed it like I physically selected my current address it didn't save so I'm frustrated about that third thing is I am about to make today a content day um y'all saw I started early um took my vitamins I haven't even made coffee yet it's just been a busy morning um yeah, it's been a busy, busy, busy morning. Um, I had that early morning call. We typically have that call around 11. I don't know why we scheduled it today, like for first thing in the morning. Um, but yeah, I want to shoot the Vaseline campaign. I want to shoot, I want to shoot the Vaseline campaign. I want to shoot, um, what else do I want to shoot? The Lancome campaign. Um, I do have those boots that I need of that I don't have to create content for, but I will go ahead and create content because holiday season is coming up. And if I pump this content out, you never know for all of my aspiring content creators, you never know who would be one, either willing to pay for the content that you have. Like you can license your, um, you can license your, that threw me off. You can license your content to them. So if you have products that you use on a daily basis and you're a content creator, I definitely, definitely encourage you to go ahead and create content surrounding the items that you have. Um, 
feel free to tag the brands when you post them and i'm not talking about in your caption also like tag them in the actual content um yeah because you never know who's going to reach out to you especially for the holiday season companies and brands are looking to amp up their what am i trying to see what am i trying to say they're looking to amp up their reach and they're looking to uh, amp up their marketing. So you never know who might be like, hey, we see that you have this. You mind if we repost this? If we, you know, so definitely just keep that in mind. So that's what I'm going to do with these boots. I got them to review, but I'm actually going to create content around them um, just to show what I am capable of and then potentially get paid for it. Um, yeah, that's it. I have the Vaseline. I'm trying to go in the order that I will be shooting the Vaseline content. The Lancome content um, and the shoes. I think that's it. I'm going to focus on that for today. I think in a few months I am going to invest in, I won't call it an assistant, but a photographer slash videographer. I just need someone to help me get different angles. Sorry, y'all. This is... This is what I'm working with right now from shooting that Vaseline um, campaign. And this is not sponsored. This is something that, uh, again, I am creating content around the brands that I use. And I just thought it would be pretty cool to do a reel around that, especially because of the winter months coming in, um, you know, the cooler temperatures coming in. I'm like, nobody wants to be out here looking ashy. Let's go ahead and promote moisture and glow. So that's what I was trying to do the heck with the um, with the Vaseline jelly. Okay, I think that looks even. Anyways, um, I also forgot that I had some good molecule products because I specifically put them in the living room because I wanted to create content the day after and completely forgot about them because I don't really come in here that often. Um, so yeah, that's not going to be done today though. I did use the soap. I took a clip of me unboxing the soap, um, but I'm definitely not doing that. I already did my skincare with my normal products. So now I got to figure out what to do next. I know that I know that the last time I talked to you guys about my coffee one morning drink I was telling you I'm doing a keto-esque type lifestyle this is not it this this is not keto-esque there's so much sugar in these there's there's so much sugar it's 21 grams of carbs per serving by the way um, that's like four fluid ounces. And then it's 20 grams of sugar in that serving, 20 grams. If I was doing like an actual keto diet, um, this would, I would almost, this drink itself would almost put me at all the carbs that I was allowed for the day. A drink. Like our calories are literally liquid calories. How much calories in this? I mean, I guess the calories aren't that bad, but the carbs are just beyond, like, it's because of the sugar, though. Anyways, I am about to, I think, I yeah, I need to do my hair. Let me do my hair, and then we'll come back. Hey, guys, so I know I said I was going to come back when I did my hair, but um, I'm going to do it on my next break. 
I my energy has shifted my energy has shifted um I also want to point out because just in case you're new here I am a content creator but I do work from home I have a nine to five and so I am at my nine to five and when I do create content during Monday through Friday like on those on any one of those days it's because I'm creating content during my breaks uh, please do not think that I'm up here <laughs> Uh, neglecting my actual nine to five that pays my bills to be creating content. No, ma'am. <laughs> I actually, like I said, I have scheduled breaks and I will um, tailor my day around my breaks. So just now I called someone and I asked them for a favor. Before I even asked them for a favor, like I was looking for other options to get things done myself. Like I absolutely, and this is, this is, my personality this is my character I hate feeling like a burden I absolutely I I don't talk to people about how I really feel like it takes me a while to open up even to my like dearest loved ones like nobody ever really knows what's really going on with me because I hate I'm I'm sure it's childhood trauma but I hate feeling like I'm burdening someone with something that stems from me um, so the, the very, the most trivial thing, like, of course now my battery's flashing. Anyways, I just, I hate when I, I should just go with my first mind and do things myself. That's, that's the moral of the story. I would go into details, but my battery's flashing. I just hate feeling like a burden. I hate when people like, it's something simple and they make me feel like it's such a big deal. And I, it's like instant regret. Instant. I'm so sorry I asked you for your your help um, because I I would have gone out of my way because I would have I would have gone out of my way to just get it done myself. But it really was going out of my way when you really don't have to do anything. Like this person has to do nothing, nothing. Literally, just it's going to be there. Like, anyways, I'm about to like charge this battery and then. Hopefully the next time you guys see me, it's during my lunch break and I am creating some content. <sighs> hey guys. <laughs> so change of plans. Well, well today was productive and I'm gonna, actually just saying the words today was productive has lifted my spirits a little bit. But let me give you guys some background as to why there's been a change of plans. So I had planned to do or to make today a full content day as far as like get dressed all my breaks were going to be dedicated to content um you know and my energy changed i did go ahead and make myself a breakfast sandwich for lunch <laughs> um and then i ended up trying to take a nap i may have dozed off for like five minutes literally five to ten minutes um, but that's about as much sleep as I got. And then um, I logged back into work. I am actually finishing up a vlog that I'm playing from I Am Shelly. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Um, but I just love the fact that I am finding Chicago content creators to watch. I love relatable surroundings. <laughs> so like, you know, I'm always watching these girlies in New York and these girlies in LA. So it's good to find people, especially like-minded people, people who are potentially in the same age range um, and enjoy doing the same things as I do. Because right now, like in this episode, she's at Brevar. I think that's how you pronounce the restaurant. And me and my girlfriend went there earlier this year. Bomb food, by the way, if you're ever in the Chicagoland area. And it's black owned. The fried lobster tails delicious at the time we weren't drinking so we got we asked her for a mocktail they don't have a menu but she made the best mocktail it was lit okay um but yeah so i'm watching her enjoying that and then i'm finishing up work um working itself has been a little hmm, it's been a little because some of our systems are down Ooh, speaking of which, I have to transfer a case. Um, some of our systems are down and it's just making it that much harder to complete the stuff that I need to do by my deadline. So there's that. Baby 
dinner at the moment I just took my veggies out my chicken obviously needs a little bit longer and then I did end up adding some like roasted mixed vegetables from Trader Joe's and it's like some sweet I think sweet potatoes butter that squash Brussels sprouts onions white potatoes and I like them when they're a little bit crisp so I left those in a little bit longer as well so the chicken and those are in or the, ro the roasted vegetables are in there but the broccoli the asparagus and the fish came out um i'm finishing my one glass of wine that i'm allowing myself um just to help me relax <laughs> um i like i said had a energy shift today so i'm gonna treat myself to this glass of wine i um i'm gonna have a nice warm cozy meal and relax for the rest of the day right now while the food is cooking and my hubby's taking a nap i am just um editing so i'm actually looking for some background music um for this weekend vlog that's probably gonna go up on thursday Wednesday yeah it's Wednesday and I am getting ready for my interview I can't believe I'm saying that <laughs> but like I said I'm I'm going into it very light-hearted um, what's for me is for me and yeah I'm going in as myself and we'll see what happens We'll see what happens. Yeah, so I I got done with the interview. It was actually quick. It's definitely a screening interview. I thought I thought I don't know why I thought it would be different, but it was super quick. Not a lot of in-depth. Like I wanted to make sure she understood what I was trying to say and she was more like I'm this is I'm not the person you need to be talking to. Like that's how I felt like, yeah, okay, cool. Okay, you sound like you know what you're talking about. Like, that's kind of how I felt like it was going. Like, she's like, all right. Yeah, you sound like you know. All right, let me move you on. Like, that's how I felt. But let's hope that gets me to the second interview. Like I said, very lighthearted. What's for me is for me. Uh, at the very minimum, I'm getting my feet wet back into this interviewing process because I haven't done an interview in three years. Um, so, yeah. Um, with that being said, I have another call coming up in about seven minutes. And then a another call after that. I think I have back-to-back -back calls this morning. Um, and then I have one later on in the day. But after my last call of the morning, I'm probably going to take a break. Um, and I don't know. And recenter myself. Um, 
I just have so much that I wanna do and I need to map out exactly what I'm gonna do. I have some brainstorming that I need to complete like I started and I stopped. Um, also, I'm definitely hoping that in this meeting, they give us more details on what was going on. I think in a previous vlog I mentioned to you guys, like we uh, had a reorg in the company and so certain things are changing and my specific function has not discussed how those changes affect our day-to-day -day responsibility. So I'm hoping that this meeting, they cover that because I'm eager, I wanna know. Um, and then after that, I have a call with my manager. So if he has any tea for me, <laughs> hopefully he lets me know what's going on too. Um, but yeah, that's all that I have going on. Like I said, I uh, it's like I have a closet that I need to clean out in my mind. I have like certain things that I need to do and I just need to organize, you know, put my thoughts into perspective and prioritize because it's a mess. That's why I said I feel like I'm gonna just take a break, recenter map out everything I need to map out and then finish off the rest of the day in a productive manner. I also probably should post a reel today because I've lately I've only been posting on Fridays, which kind of makes my page look like a liquor page because of my weekend libation series. Um, but I'm much more than just posting my happy hour reels. I need to, I need to get back into the groove. So all of that, like I said, all of that, is in my mind right now, just reorganizing my thoughts and prioritizing what needs to get done. All right, guys, so I'm actually um, getting ready to go for a W-A-L-K. Um, I'm spelling it out because Lola's here and I know she's going to act a fool. This is my friend calling me. Hello? Hello? You dash up? Hello? No, I am home, but I am also going to run some errands. I'm going to try this one last minute thing to finish up this. Oh, oh, oh. All right, guys, so I just got off the phone with her. Both of us didn't go yesterday. I was just being lazy. And even though I'm not in the best of spirits, nor do I have the energy right now, I'm just going to go. Um, I am becoming very self-aware and I am an emotional eater. I am a bit anxious because the call we had about the reorg, um, there's still some uncertainty of what my day-to-day -day is gonna look like. I don't have an idea of, okay, this is what's gonna happen. This is what you're gonna wake up to every single day. Like, or, you know, on my work days. Like, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, and that is making me very anxious and it almost made me wanna go take a nap <laughs> or eat something because like I said, I'm an emotional eater. So I would go look for something comforting right now but instead, I'm trying to flip that. I'm aware that me wanting something comforting right now is a reaction to how I'm feeling. So I'm going to flip that and I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to put my energy in that walk. I actually ended up getting a Celsius as well to help me with my energy because I got work to do. I also have Beauty and the Kinks stuff that I want to stay on top of and I got to come back and edit um the reels that i created yesterday not yesterday was it yesterday yeah yesterday the reels i created yesterday so there's that let's go for the walk hey guys so you call me like bad spanish station come on she likes she has that bad habit of as soon as i like have any space between me and the desk she'll jump on my lap um, but yeah, so I can't remember whether or not I checked in after lunch 
Um, I think I did because I think I showed you guys my salad. I had some of the salad and or I had that salad and I had um, some of the chicken that I made from last night. That chicken is so good, y'all. Um, it is definitely keto-esque because it has um, cream cheese on it. It's first of all, it's chicken thighs, so it's a much or yeah, it has more fat than your typical chicken breast. Um, yeah, it had that tr that cream cheese on there, and it had the pumpkin pasta sauce that I was telling you guys about. Um, I can't remember if it was in this vlog or the last vlog, but yeah, that pumpkin pasta sauce, y'all, it's so good to me. <laughs> It is so, so good to me. It reminds me of something and I cannot put my finger on it. But that paired with the cream cheese, it was so good. It was just so good. Um, so I had that with my salad and then uh, I think I'm going to have some soup tonight. I am going to probably make some more soup this weekend. I have some butternut squash that I need to do something with. So I kind of sort of have a plan on um, seasoning those, roasting them. Um, well, the squash is already cut up, so I'm going to season the, the squash, roast it, and then puree it, um, add some chicken broth, add some, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for cream. I might do heavy whip. I might do cream cheese. Um, but yeah, I do have my Sephora package, so let's open that. There's only two items. Um. Let me open it though. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to make sure y'all don't see my address, but it's from my previous employer. <laughs> um, and I do know people that still work there, so it was easy enough to get. I got this big old box for two items, y'all. So I got the Anastasia, ooh, the lighting is horrible, but I got the Anastasia Brow Freeze. Let me move that out of the way. So that. And then I got the Clean Reserve Skin. I'm going to get the full bottle of this. Um, this smells so good. It's the perfect everyday scent. It just smells so, so good. I got this. Good morning, guys. It is Friday. Um, I'm feeling a little blah this morning. My energy is low and... I told myself I wasn't going to do any more PTO work and I ended up accepting or, you know, basically telling someone I could back them up when I know I shouldn't have. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just receiving some work from their clients and I'm like, I have enough going on by myself. Okay. <laughs> I don't need no extra. Um, but such is life. That's kind of where I'm at this morning but after I submit these requests I'm going to what's this the images yeah I'm gonna um what is the BH I'm so confused like what's the <laughs> you know what you know what Anyways, after I submit these, I'm probably going to get myself together because I have a lot to do within a week's time. I have a lot to do. So, yeah. I'm going to get myself together. I might go downstairs and get the clean laundry. <clears throat> Luckily, I've already folded a load. And then it's a smaller load of whites that I have in there. I just need some of my tops. Um, some of my white tops. So, I want to kind of get that from downstairs and then maybe we'll get ourselves together and shoot content because remember I think was it last week yeah last week or earlier this week I can't remember honestly I was shooting content and I was supposed to have a full day of just shooting content during my breaks but it didn't happen I only got some of it done so I think today I'm going to dedicate to having all of it done <laughs> so yeah Alright guys, so um, 
you're now on the new tripod. I came in the living room because I was comparing it to my other tripod, which is ex it's a lot sturdier, um, which also means that it's a lot heavier. Um, but we needed to get a second one. We have, let me see, two, three. We have three cameras. No, what am I talking about? We have five cameras. Um, my hubby has two, I have three, and we only had one tripod. When he goes out to his trip, he's taking the bigger one, the heavier one, because he mainly uses his S1H. Um, I vlog on my Canon M50, and I also use S1H for different types of content. So um, I needed an additional tripod, long story short. So yeah i'm just trying to see like the difference the i really like the fact that this one is lightweight for traveling um as well as the fact that it's one flip to portrait mode so right now you guys are landscape with um the other tripod what brand is this the so with the magnus vt 350 um it just takes a little bit more work to flip. Hey guys, so what I was actually trying to say in this clip was that with the Magnus tripod, I'm able to flip it to portrait, but I'm not able to tilt the camera in portrait mode. So with the newer tripod, I'm able to have it landscape and tilt. I'm also able to quickly get it to portrait and tilt it in portrait as well. supposed to be doing my makeup right now and basically um, getting ready to you know record some content for YouTube I have a YouTube video that I wanted to do and now I'm on the phone with my credit card company again I'm so irritated I'm so irritated because my video that went live yesterday I was on the phone with them that Saturday it is Friday. It's almost a week later and I'm still not able to get this fraud issue resolved. And it, I'm, I'm at this point, I'm just super freaking frustrated. Like, get me to somebody who's competent enough to help me. Because this, people, but basically people just thinking that they doing me the best thing. Like, I just, I'm just frustrated. I'm frustrated. I need, hold on guys, because I don't know why I feel like I'm out of, I'm a little bit blurry. Yeah, I, did, I just need my card to be working, y'all. I need my card to be working. And I'm getting really freaking irritated. Still here, still waiting. I've been on this call for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, nothing has been resolved. Nothing has been resolved. And of course my battery's dying, but hey guys, just wanted to check in. Um, work day's over with. I'm actually just cleaning up some stuff. Um, yeah, and then <laughs> I say that because what I'm doing is like a surprise, so yeah. Um, and then I've ordered dinner and that's on its way. I do have to go to Target after I eat though. Um, and yeah, that's what I got going on. For dinner, I ended up doing Harold's. So 
If y'all from Chicago, y'all know about Harold's. I do not have the Harold's. As I was saying, we don't have that good stuff that's on 87th. Um, but yeah, we got a little something, something. It ain't too, it ain't too shabby. Hey guys. Uh, so it is actually Saturday morning and I just wanted to pop in really quickly to end the vlog here. Um, I've been editing and I, I just be recording during the week. I mean, I'm proud of myself. Don't get me wrong, but I do be recording during the week. And so, um, I have like a whole lot of footage and it's like, I think maybe 40 minutes. 45 minutes okay so I have 45 minutes worth of footage that I got between Monday through Friday and so I'm like you know what it's going to take me forever to render this and to export this so let me go ahead and close out the vlog and say thank you guys so much for watching especially if you made it this far y'all y'all really be doing it hold on hello hello hey baby uh yeah so damn okay uh what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. That call totally threw me off. I don't remember what I was saying, but just know that I appreciate each and every one of you that watch my videos, that have subscribed, that have liked the video. I really, really, really appreciate it. I am on the road to 5K. So definitely support me if you can by hitting that subscribe button. It is free. I'm just saying it's free. Okay, free 99. Um, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for all of your love and support. Until next video, bye guys.